guys, welcome back to AY Outside. So I've seen a bunch of comments wanting a tutorial for the hoverboard in the back of the go-kart, also known as the Ninebot S Max. This is exactly what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to attach an e-rest and how to ride. So let's do it. All right, the first step, which is uh, for me, uh, which is only for the people who have the go-kart, is to take the go-kart body off of the wheels. So let's do that. So we have the hoverboard off of the back of the go-kart and you can see here it is and this little piece that's sticking out right here that's where you attach the knee rest and steer because this works a little bit differently than a normal hoverboard a normal hoverboard you would lean to turn this one you have to move your knees and lean your knees and move the knee rest to, to turn so now let me show you how to attach the knee rest all right guys so before we attach it let me show you what you need so you need the knee rest here or if you bought the steering wheel then it's pretty much the same thing so and then you can adjust it here and this is the actual part where you rest your knees and then you also need this little box that they send you when you buy the product and it has a bunch of tools in here and stuff and that's how you assemble it so now let me show you how to do it all right so step one is to take your knee stand and you want to slide it onto here all right now that we have the knee stand on what we want to do is there are going to be two screws that you find in the box and you just want to screw them in All right guys, so before we start riding, we have this all screwed in. Now you want to go on your phone and go to the Segway app. All right, so we're in the Segway app now, and what you want to do, you want to go pair a new device, as you can see I'm doing here, and then the hoverboard should show up, and then you connect to it. Once you connect to it, you turn off go-kart mode, and you're ready to ride. All right guys, so that was all the steps to setting up your 9Bot S Max. So now that you have it paired on the app, the knee stand is screwed in. <coughs> Sorry, my bad. Now you can ride. So let's do exactly that. Let's ride. And it's a little bit different than normal hoverboard. So you lean to go forward and backwards, but then to turn, you would move this knee stand. See how it's shifting side to side? That's how you turn. So let's ride. Guys, before we start riding, safety first. Remember to put on your helmet so you don't injure yourself. Now let's ride. Alright guys, so I rode around like as you can see for like two seconds and it's a little bit different from a hoverboard I'm used to riding on. So it's a little bit different with this knee stand, you gotta get used to the balance. So let me ride around a little bit and then maybe I'll be able to go a little bit faster. Alright guys, we're riding the nine bob here. We're going down the driveway. We're gonna be going pretty slow so we don't fall. I'm trying to get used to this new type of thing here. And see, as I'm turning, I'm moving my knees. So I'm shifting him to turn around. And then we're gonna go back up. Alright guys, so another cool feature with the S Max here is if you have one of the nine box speakers, you can attach it here and have some sound while you're driving. Alright guys, thank you for watching my quick review of the nine bot S Max. Hope you thought it was pretty cool and you learned something. And also, if you're looking to buy one of these, you may be, uh, uh, I hope my review persuaded you a little bit. And also, comment down below if you want to see me compare this to a normal hoverboard. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. Also, go check out my TikTok. And I'll see you later.